Done right, John. Just watch. Oh, I want to say thank you to Peter. I want to say thank you to Peter. Man. Oh, hey, we're live. You know what that means? Thank you, someone. No sound again, Jesse. Come on, get with it. Jesus Christ, no sound. No sound. You got the headphones on? Yeah, you checking it? Hello. Can you hear us? No sound or, can, you hear us? can you guys hear us? I don't know. I'm getting no audio immediately. That's Thomas Franco, though. I don't know if I can trust that. Is there sound? Yeah, I'm like, can someone pull it up? I don't know. Oh, uh, no. Hey, can uh, can you guys hear us? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I You're can saying, hear yeah. you. Do, you. do you have the headphones? So on? we do have mm -hmm. sounds right now. Put your put the stupid headphones on. I don't care if they're broken. Thomas put them on. Thomas Franco, are you deaf? All right, so now Thomas we do Franco, have, there's a thing called volume. Computer, <laughs> we do have sound. We are live. Peter Sadarso, thank you so much for that intro. You're beautiful. Also, a million dollar smile right there. Also, hey, I'm talking. I'm saying. So, uh, <laughs> guess what? We do have Power Ranger news. But before we get into that, uh, we are going to be talking about episodes 54, 55, and 56 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season one. That's right. All the way back in the day. Are you feeling okay? You okay? I'm, I'm recovering. Are you, were you sick? I was last week. When we oh. were doing the Super Bowl thing? No, right after that. Oh, we got you that's sick. Tuesday. Somebody. Got okay. You yeah. Sick. Yeah. That's what happened. Jeez. Yeah, that sucks. Um, so we're going to be talking about those episodes. We also have something called the Super Chat feature. What that does, it helps support the show. Hit that S button to support your favorite YouTube channel, which you are watching right now. And if we're not your favorite, we will be by the end of this episode. Um, also, what we have is the Tee Public store. What that has is cool geek t-shirts, none of which we're wearing currently, Unfortunately except not. the Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> uh, you can find that in Tee Public. Also, you can find gaming Power show. Rangers, gaming, um, superheroes, everything. Black Panther's coming up. Get your Black Panther shirts for this week. That's right. And last but not least, we have the THS Hashtaggers group. What that is, that is a group meant and designed for you guys to talk with everybody about some of the fandoms that you love to carry the conversation over, go on a Facebook, and talk to other hashtaggers in there that are like-minded individuals just like you. All right, so we do have a lot of Power Ranger news to talk about, or not. A lot. We have no, some Power Ranger news to talk about. We already know that casting um, casting auditions will begin in mid-March. So Iris, the casting director, put out a tweet stating that get your, uh, your martial arts, your dance skills, and your um, gymnastics ready. Mid-March is when Power Rangers is going to open auditions. So if you are planning on being a part of those auditions, get ready because mid-March is coming. We have a few cast members here on mm -hmm. that hashtag show that are going to be auditioning. Um, good luck to Jessica, Maverick, and Daryl. Daniel. Uh, no, oh, okay. All Good luck right. to you, too. I just, yeah, I you're, That's right. Well, because... You're playing the new Ernie. Yeah, I forgot I am, to mention. I am, I am. Um, I already got my, like, weird Jersey accent going on because he has one. So I'm and you be, plan on giving things out for free? Yeah, well, you know, and literally just running my business into the ground. So yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Sounds oh, like hey your life is... Hey guys, how's everything going? You know, oh, this kid couldn't do good on soccer. Also, that's, what we have. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. Uh, what we have also, as you already know, you guys are in the super chat, chatting away. Keep that conversation going. Keep it fresh. Uh, and we also have the boss bar. What the boss bar is, is, uh, well, it's what it sounds like. If you uh, get that bar knocked all the way down, current leader right now is Larry Newbill. But if you get that bar knocked down, you win, the free, you win free tickets to Power Morphicon. 2018 you're gonna get that vip experience and we at that hashtag show will do our best to get you a power ranger date to power morphicon's angel grove prom now for to find out more about power morphicon we'll be talking about that later but right now <laughs> we are going to talk about some news so this one's a little bit off the beaten path um are you guys familiar with the character nightwing yes oh uh, yeah yes yeah christopher yeah. mckay yes christopher mckay for those of you that don't know who nightwing is Shame on you. Go check yeah. out Batman. But uh, Nightwing is uh, Dick Grayson, Batman's first sidekick, the first Robin. Christopher McKay put out a tweet just recently. And um, <coughs> there's been, after Yoshi Sadarso posted a picture of him doing splits in the air, Blue Dino Charge Ranger, and also wow. Silver Hyperforce Ranger, uh, he said getting ready for that Nightwing. But he was more, it was more just saying like he was mimicking the pose yeah. of the tweet. Um, and Christopher McKay wrote a message saying like, who, who would you guys like to see as Nightwing? Tons of fans yep, flooded in. Yep. Yoshi for Nightwing. Um, so congratulations. Not saying that Yoshi is Nightwing. Come on. I, well, look at that. that look at that picture. Yes or no? 
That like, he you guys tell me no, and I'm going to tell you you're an idiot. And because representation, because Nightwing is a character that doesn't need to be a white guy. No. He can be of any ethnicity, of any race. And I think that there was a lot of backlash on um, Iron Fist, actually, for not casting an Asian in, in a role like that. Even though me personally, being half Asian mm -hmm. and 100% Canadian, uh, would would definitely... It's not something you should be proud of. But yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, hey, <laughs> Donald Trump, Justin Trudeau, who are you, you choosing? There you're going to fight. There you go. So <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> the thing is, with, uh, with, with Nightwing, it's a character that... It, it doesn't have to be, um, it's not it's not tied down to one ethnicity. Yeah. It doesn't need to be any one thing. And I think DC, if you want to stand out above everybody, Yoshi Sadarso is at least somebody that should be in the, in the conversation. Uh, not at least, he just should be the conversation. That's it. I mean, the guy is perfect for it. Uh, physically, you know, he can do everything that's going to be needed. Uh, he also is a, a stuntman as well. So it's like, dude, you're going to be saving so much money putting him right there. It's... It, I don't understand why you're not thinking about this and putting and it through. you know that he could probably do a lot of his stunts? Oh. Probably. He's also really nice. I randomly met him at a bar at Comic-Con a couple years ago, and I was like, hey, oh, you're yeah. a Power See? Ranger. He was yeah, super nice. really nice. He's one really of the nicest dudes. One of the guys on, that really is... It rivals... I don't know who's been on our show more, Peter or Yoshi. One of the Sadarso. I think of, Peter yeah, has. Yeah, I think Peter has now. But um, Yoshi's one of the coolest dudes. Look, look, at, look, look at that good-looking you, uh, you, you tell me how that can't be Nightwing. Some random girl uh, wearing a shirt and a jacket. But uh, I think he's a... Yeah, it's well, a Tana, isn't it? I think it's an agent. It's an FBI agent. Oh, but okay, just kidding. It could, oh, be, it could be anybody. Yeah, get, Who knows? Yeah. Yoshi Sadarso would be a great Nightwing. So let's keep that trend going. Please, everybody, use your Twitter accounts. And if you don't have one, sign up for one. Yeah. Use your Twitter accounts. Use a picture of Yoshi and Nightwing. And let's use the hashtag Yoshi4, number four, Nightwing. Because we all want to see it. Um, now, Who let's talk about Power Ranger auditions. Um... Power Rangers is going into its iconic 25th year this year. It is in its 25th year this year. Next year is going to be year 26. And we are currently, we, I'm not Saban. If I was, things would be a lot different. But they're looking for their next cast of characters. Now, casting's going to begin mid-March. And um, guys, well, Daniel, I really should pose this question to you. What season do you want to see adapted? We talk about this on the Henshin Hangout, but what season would you like to see adapted? If they're really going to put their heart into it, go ahead and uh, adapt Q-Ranger. But if you're not going to put your heart into it, skip, yeah, go, do Go Buster. Okay, now, uh, L, I have a question for you. Going into the 26th year, and you obviously are familiar with the original Power Rangers, mm -hmm. what do you want to see change or translated over to the 26th season? I just want better characters, more development, complexity and depth. <laughs> they got it into it a little bit in the movie, but mm -hmm. more of that. Definitely so more, more complex that. characters, yeah. better better told stories maybe? Yeah. I agree with that. I, I think we can all kind of uh, agree with that. So that's going to be something that's going to be happening very soon. So we already know, here's the thing, we'll be able to figure out which season it is depending on the amount of characters they're casting. True. So if our, the initial casting calls for nine characters initially, mm -hmm. we know that they're probably going to go Q-Ranger. So I'm trying to if it's If picture. it's for three Rangers... We're led to believe it's going to be for Go Buster. Now, once you get into five, it could be either Tokuger or Zuoger. But um, realistically, I would count Tokuger out of this, mainly because it's a train season. I love Tokuger, mm. the Japanese series, because it's very good. Um, it's just very good. But who knows? By the way, I watched episode 15 of Tokuger, and I almost cried at that episode. It's so wow. good. Yeah, you almost cried? I know. I, That's I impossible. To, yeah, <laughs> I need to Canadians have hearts. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Eh. Okay. Well, 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 not all Canadians. Like, it depends where in Canada, right? No, uh, only in Toronto. Oh, okay. All right. But, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so to Tokyo is a good season, so I, I recommend everybody to check it out. Um, now, guys, we have some uh, great episodes to talk about today. Episode 54, 55, and 56. Title of those episodes are uh, Trick or Treat, yeah. <laughs> Second Chance, and one of my favorites on thins and needles. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let's go see, let's go uh, sequentially here and go with trick or treat up first. This is uh, first of all this monster, the wrapping pumpkin. Oh actually, my gosh! Actually appears in the Boom Studios comic uh, oh, really? for a little bit. Yeah, he's actually he also wanna... rap. I don't in remember. The comic. I don't actually think he says anything. Like... Oh, oh man, to wake him up. That, that was a good scene. Oh my god! That was a good scene. So let's talk about this. Uh, I like it wasn't a Halloween episode though. It was not. You're a right. Halloween no, episode. not at all. It's just like an. It's just a cosplay episode. Yeah. Well, it's just like an episode.
episode of like. <laughs> oh God! Look at this. Oh my God! That, that uh, looks so ridiculous. And then Kimberly doesn't get a pumpkin on her head. No, because she was so quick. I like that, to that Jason tries to chop the pumpkin off of <laughs> Billy's, Billy's head. head. <laughs> like, <laughs> what, what is going on? What, <laughs> what logic does that make? <laughs> like, it literally, and, and what like, like, like uh, Zach has tr uh, training and a headlock. headlock. <laughs> I just don't know what's going. I love this episode. Uh. Um, I think personally that thi this is kind of like the old school Power Rangers. That it's kind of it was just so fun. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, like yeah, definitely. It's and c another cool thing too is that in that game show competition, Kimberly doesn't win. She no. she has to sacrifice has to her duty yeah. for this car that she wants to win. <laughs> yeah. Now, real life situation. Um, which would you have chosen? I don't know. I feel like Zordon regularly is like, hey, someone who <coughs> was busy. Let's give him some time. Okay. You know, everyone else, right. go and gather. Right. Why didn't you do... I, I feel like he has it out for Kimberly in this I, I think so, because it was like, automatically, if I was Kimberly, I'm like, uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. Um, you know, Tommy's available. I gotta go. Right? I, I'm trying to win a car. Zordon, you're not gonna help me win a car. You're not even doing anything to help me. You big floating head, just stay over there and do what you're doing. I've got things to do, you know? Like, I need a car. Right, they had all the I, I'm a product of a broken home. Need, I need a car. They didn't even need Kimberly, but, I mean, they did because she's the one that blew off the pumpkin. So but if right. Tommy but, was I mean, there, he would have done it, too. Yes. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Where was Tommy? <laughs> he was Where was going he? To I forgot, karate right? fight. But the karate, oh, yeah. on his way to the karate fight, he walks through the pumpkin patch. And then got like, interrupted. The the yeah, exactly. Too, which I thought was super funny. Yeah. He was like, look at these pumpkins. Oh man, look at these pumpkins. These are really real. Oh, oh, see ya! And it was like this whole thing <laughs> fighting putties. And I was like, dude, so he's already involved in the fight. Yeah. You could have just, hey, guys, go to where he, he has is. To and his energy, man. <sighs> he does have to conserve his energy. Uh, they still use him. That's true. <laughs> well, like, Tommy ended up going from being the guy that got them out of trouble to being the guy that they're like, hey, like, you're on life support. Yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, Tommy, maybe it's best to just sit this one out. I can do it all. No, you can't, man. He was the, can. Hey, realistically, though, he was the most popular ranger at the time. Yes. And you got it just to include the character just to, to serve some of the kids that just want to see any Tommy. Now, also, with this during this time, was he still shooting that pilot for whatever that no, was? No, I believe, I believe that, that um, I believe what happened was that, that pilot was in between when he left as the Green Ranger uh -huh. originally uh -huh. to when he came back. Okay. I believe. All right. Um, I could be completely wrong about that, but he did shoot him. that pilot. I do. I should ask. We're him. gonna ask him. When the next JDF time is one of the coolest dudes. I like JDF a lot. We'll get him a Power Morphe on. We'll ask him that. We'll talk about. It. Yeah. yeah. He wants to do an event with us at Power Morphe. <coughs> that would be awesome. He does, yeah, but we'll we can't. Um, I don't want to officially announce anything. We, no. we, we've only had. We talked about this in New York, and we haven't really brought it up since. But the cool thing about this episode, is it, th this episode in particular, like you know, when you have iconic uh, monsters, is when you have a good episode. Like the pudgy pig, just yeah. fun episodes, right? Goldar, obviously. Um, there's there's that nasty night that Zach had back in the oh, day. Yeah. But this dude, like to me, the pumpkin head <clears throat> monster, the rapping. Let's hear your. Let's hear you do a pumpkin head rap. I don't even. I can make one up. Just yeah. Yeah, yeah. make it up. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a pumpkin. Freestyle. I'm a pumpkin. I put it on my head. Something, something, blah, blah, blah. All the oh, rangers. Well, okay, no. I'm a pumpkin. Blah, I'm a pump, blah, blah. No, I'm a pumpkin. I put them on your head. I'll beat all you rangers and leave you all dead. There you go. Oh. No, there you go. No, but they don't. Go. They can't say dead, though, is a thing. Oh, you can't say dead? No. Right. No. Yours, right? Oh, man. I don't have, I don't have any. Put you on the spot. Try yeah. to rap. You have to make it up. Just I'm go. A pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so well that was yeah, that easy. was close. That are you are you behind okay. the scenes of the pumpkin? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm, She's I'm, like, I'm mixing. I'm, I'm doing the remix version. The DJ spinner, maybe. No, yeah. Let's hear yours. You <laughs> I don't. Oh no. <laughs> I don't. Oh no. That's not even. A, I can't. No, I don't. Oh no. But but Canadians, like the, the dude, Drake. Down too, so Drake's not a real rapper. Yeah, no, he's, a, he's a, but he's a real Canadian. So come on. Well, he's barely it. a rapper. Well, okay, he's, he's a, barely a Canadian. He, he kind of sings. You know, you can You're do a you can do a rap sing. I hundred percent. You can do a rap song. Like we call. You know what we call. Whiskey in Can you know what we call Bieber uh, sing? We we, 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 we call maple syrup in Canada, we call it Canadian whiskey. Is that it? No? It is gives us true? strength. <laughs> that's what that's what being a Canadian's all about is it maple gives syrup. Strength. Okay. All right. Do you, oh, do, do you like maple syrup? I do like do you, so you like enough. Canadian whiskey. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's right. what's happening now. Do you know what a Canadian tuxedo is? <laughs> I, I do know what a Canadian tuxedo is. <laughs> what is it? Oh it's my jeans God. on jeans. Right? Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of people that don't know that for some reason. Like, yeah, I don't understand. Like, yes, he, he, he rocked the Canadian with with, uh, with uh, Brittany on that picture. Yeah, that's See? hilarious. See that because everybody we, okay, we had a conversation. Yeah. they didn't know what it meant. That's so many people were like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. How do you guys yeah. know? Jean shirt with jean pants. Yeah, Canadian tuxedo. Hey, right, here's my challenge to anybody at Morphicon: rock a Canadian tuxedo. 
Ooh. and uh, you'll get to hang out with Daniel for the whole day on Saturday. He'll show Why you around everything. Me? Why is it always me? Because you're a great tour guide. Oh, yeah. You're probably yeah, one right. of the best. Oh, yeah, Probably sure. the best. Oh, wow. The, wow. Mm, mm, top mm, three. Mm, mm, top, oh, top three. Of all time, best tour guides okay. I've ever oh, seen. Of all time. Of all time. That's just so, this way you can have me do it. That's, top three of all time. Um, top three, top three. Canadian whiskey disguises maple syrup. No, no, no. It's just called Canadian whiskey. No, it's called Canadian whiskey. We just call it Canadian whiskey. Uh, okay, so let's get <laughs> um, on to this. So, did you guys like the episode? Yeah, it was fun. Uh, yeah, I laughed. <laughs> oh, but he's also had pumpkin heads. Yes. And I was like, wait, how can they see? Is that a fish? That's why I, said, I thought because I thought it said when it gets on your head, you can't, you can't see, breathe. you can't breathe. I'm like, wait a minute, but what about the putties? Putties are putties. They don't really need to breathe, I guess. So we've seen right. the fear and range. They're made out of clay. Billy, okay. Billy has a, a fear of fish. Um, I think Trini has a fear of heights. Mm-hmm. Uh, nobody's claustrophobic, surprisingly, because this would have been... Oh, that would have been it. Oh, yeah. That would have been it. That, that would take you down, I feel like. What oh. is Jason afraid of? Hmm. Failure. Not being able to lead his team. Yeah, I think that's, <laughs> that's actually... That's true. That's where he was Actually, there's out. that Island of Illusion episode where that's exactly what it is, is letting everybody down. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, oh, really? Yeah, and Zach's afraid of snakes and spiders. It was like a two-part. Oh, jeez, that's true. And then, Kim, I don't know what Kimberly's afraid of. Quagmire. What, what was Kimberly afraid? Of? Oh, Jezzer should dress up as Quagmire for for Morphicon. Oh, that would be Quagmire. genius. <laughs> he should totally oh, be Quagmire. Be really you gotta be you gotta be Quagmire. Yeah. So wait, what, what was Billy's uh, or uh, uh, Kimberly's fear? I don't know. I. But maybe not being popular, not being liked. I don't know. Like it sounds like Kimberly. Was height. Heights. Oh, heights. Yeah. Heights. Yeah. See, trainings makes sense. Um, Zach is spiders and snakes. Yeah. Um, Jason's was not being an efficient leader. Uh, what was Tommy? Tommy, Tommy had one. Tommy's was um, he imagined everybody as like monsters. I think it was turning evil again, actually. Oh. And 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 and, and I think that's what it is. I, you know, it's kind of crazy. Loss of control. The the this episode is I would say more of a it does teach you an important message that duty sometimes outshines. Uh, Things that you might want. Oh yeah, that yeah. you have responsibilities. I think this is a great episode teaching responsibility. Overall, I just think it's a great episode. I, I almost wish that that uh, Skull was able to keep the car at the end though. I oh, do too, man. and I feel like the whole thing is like Wait, they how were did, cheat, accused of cheating. I was like, how did they? How cheat? did they cheat? Okay, okay cheat that's what I was saying. Show where it's like you ask me a question, if I don't know the answer, then you win. And right I didn't. Away. I didn't know when I saw him cheat ever. Oh God! Crap yes, it was. Like, it was. Anything could have been better. Than yeah, that literally, I didn't Any understand. But I, I, that was my thing, and I was upset over it. How did they cheat? I don't tell me when and how. You guys had to see the episode. If you guys know, tell me like in in the chat because I don't remember seeing him cheat. I don't remember. Hey. Ask him this question, because this will be good. The I mean, there were questions. Where it's like, what is my best friend's name? Was kind of like, he was like, hey, pick me. Yeah, right? I mean, that's not, but that's not but cheating. It's, it, sorry, I got you. Like, hey, the identity of the Power Rangers. Oh, I don't know. Is that cheating? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the more important thing about this episode is there's no Megazord. There's no, no Megazord I love that. that I, 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 I saw I, that, I and really I said, like Joe's going to love this. I was like, I'm not it. a big Megazord uh, guy. You don't like Max. I feel you like, don't like Max. Well, I think that... All of them feel the same to me. They all it's like feel the same. it's so you get up to this point. the The episodes are always laid out three minutes, and then go back to the villain, and then uh, go go back to the villain. Introduce what the what the monster is going to be of the week. Yeah, it has to relate then, to what happened. Then you need then you need a rising conflict, which is oh my, is that Justin? That's not Justin. Oh no, that, what that Wait, is? What, oh, what oh my god, that is Justin. So then you get this rising conflict. Um, and once you get that rising conflict, you 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 get the you know like the, the villain goes over a little bit. It's like wrestling, right? Yeah. And then and then you get the Megazord fight, and then it's over. Yeah. The Megazord fights a solid like five minutes, which I don't care about. True. I feel That's like true. the most true. times. One time it got its arm cut off, and I was cool with that. <laughs> Joe was like, yeah, because it was different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was different. True. Maciate him. Um, um, so that there was that. Uh, I do. I agree with you, <laughs> L. I do like that. There's no Megazord fight. Yeah, it was interesting. Nice change of pace. It was. Yeah. It was. And they lot. got to use the whole, the cannon or whatever. Yeah, and I miss that. See, I do. This is I uh, do. even in current Power Rangers. I kind of miss 
them defeating monsters in different ways right. showing the versatility of the things that they can do or even individual like say this is a let's say this i didn't feel like it was a kimberly focused episode mm -hmm. but let's say it kind of is right well she gets the the pumpkin heads off yeah, but yeah. i kind of wish that she would have just uh, <clears throat> beat the you, monster by herself yeah. Ooh. showing that kind of like empowerment for each individual character <laughs> but overall the, i did enjoy this episode Oh yeah, she thought Bulk and Skull were nice. That was the fear. Oh, oh wow! So she wow, got, that's okay. So you know weird. what? Okay, you know what? Nice. Okay, Kimberly's I'm gonna say this. Kimberly is kind of a you know like a. She's a, hot though. Kimberly's so mean. For it. Kimberly is mean, she's and mean I girl. think I people aren't taking that. Lessons, yeah, but. she's a mean girl because Kimberly's always like she does literally pick on Bulk and Skull. Yeah, she does, and she kind of coaxes them into things so she can like make them look stupid. Like when Skull was like, "Oh yeah, you know, so I'm gonna win this," and you know, held her hand or whatever, and she was like, she leaned over, "Oh yeah, I don't know about that," and then oh, he falls into guacamole, yeah. and they're like, "Oh, ha, ha, ha. she's like, ha, 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 I'm a bully," because that's it. Kimberly's actually a bully. She's a hot bully. Yeah. Hey, so. so I know that Mikey Perez is having buffering issues. Are any of you? Because mm -hmm. I, it might be. I don't know, it doesn't look you. like it doesn't look um, right there. So guys, what do you what do you what do you yeah. rank this episode on a scale? How many power coins you guys give in this one? I thought it was pretty fun. I'd give it a four. I'd give it a four also. Definitely. Four out of four. five. Four! Right. Alright, what do you guys give it in the chat? Le leave us a little uh, <laughs> message what you leave it in, ch in the chat. Also, uh, if you guys have a cool rap, super chat it. If not, just write it in there and I'm gonna pick out the best one. And you don't necessarily win anything except me reading your name. Which should be prize enough. Uh, actually, but, yeah. uh, congrats, congratulations, it. you win us saying, hey, good job. Yes. Validation, people. So, like, we already, we're getting flooded with, uh, with, with responses. <coughs> uh, first of all, we got Danny R Romano gives it a 5 out of 5. Kat gives it a 1.5. Her scale's obviously Wow, up. Kat. Matt gives it a 4. MJ, really Michael J. Spud gives it a 4.5. Ryan Wizard, Ryan Thomas gives it a 4. Uh, Edward Sanchez Production gives it a 4 out of 5. We also got Layla, who who's a new fan. Thank Layla. you so much, Layla. Gives it a 4. Um, Robin gives it a 4.5. Lucius, a 5.5. Or 5 out of 5. Thomas, 4.5. Was this so, to give it a question mark? Uh, <laughs> was so it's, a, it's very good that you guys are... Uh, we're, we're on par here with uh, with that episode. We're all giving, giving it, it about a 4. All right, let's move on to Second Chance. Oh, boy. Ernie, Ernie, Ernie. Yeah. That was my that was my most interesting portion. Isn't it up to you, Ernie? Oh, I don't know. Is it? Oh yeah, you're right. It is up to me. Oh man, this is crazy. Oh, Rangers, like a stupid idiot. But also, like, okay, <laughs> just, so this guy just, just said, I have problems oh, with Ernie. Er Ernie, I love him, but I have problems. I love him. I love him, but he just has problems, man. He does. It's, he does. it's who's the first person you know? Who's the Ernie in your life? Shoot, who is the Ernie at hashtag? <laughs> yeah, right. That's a good question. Daniel, um, me. <laughs> what, no, no, no. <coughs> Who is the Ernie? Uh, on, uh, I don't know. Do we have one really? When you think about it, like for the hashtag show, who would be the Ernie? Like you're just like, oh, that's not a good idea. Junior. Oh, jeez. I can run everything, bro. I got. I'm quick. I'm quick. I'm quick. I got everything. Got everything. I can see that. I yeah, I, I <laughs> sometimes Ernie is a he's such a kind hearted dude <laughs> look that out. he went out of Thank business God, for him. So look at him. him. I love Ernie. He's oh, just that kind of guy too that's so like sweet. you want to hug him, but you, it's like, man, let me pull you aside for a second. Well, you want to hug him and then you see the mullet like, and you're like, you yeah, grown? let's come how on, let's you talk. Get this far in life. Yeah, I don't how understand. Get this far? I don't well, understand how you have not we done. We find out later on he he gets a giant inheritance for some being some baby. Some famous baby, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this comes in Power Ranger Zeo, I believe. Uh, but Good for him. He but, needs it. He's going to give it away to So you want to hear a fun fact <laughs> about Ernie? <laughs> so when I was a kid, I used to go to all the WWE live events in Anaheim. And in the front, I used to be like in the fourth row. I never got to the ringside seats. But for the f for all the times I was there, always in the first row, row, this dude. Really? Ernie in his Saban jacket. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. He was always on in, it, in on wrestling it. events, and I would always, and I always wanted to go up and say hi, but I never, <clears throat> never had the chance. Aww. I wonder now. And now I never question, will. Like, he passed away. Yeah, like when you get that role, and they're like, "All right, great. So you're gonna be this, and we want you to be lovable." Blah blah. At any time, did he say, "Well, now I'm making a little bit more money." Blah blah, etc. Et I want to, you know, better myself. I want to lose weight. Was it like Saban's like, "No, here, have this orange injected with fat." Like you know, like <laughs> were they trying to keep him big? Well, or I think my biggest ever, problem like, with, with Ernie was that you have a fitness center, <laughs> and and you 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 know you you serve smoothies. Even this is like having a Jamba Juice at a fitness center. 
But you're not you're not the the the, 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 the target yeah. audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. However, but also at this fitness center, you also ser- sold burger fries and maybe the biggest fudge sundays I had oh, ever seen yeah. in the history of life. I That's think. true. They probably feed a family of seventeen. Yeah. So I don't necessarily. He knows how to live, man. Like, <laughs> you know, he's, he's living his best to life. Be healthy, but I mean, there's just some good things like Sundays. Yeah. I mean, realistically, like. I, I, so I think about this all the time sometimes. He has some we, energy. We're here at, at the Comic Bug in Manhattan Beach, which I love this place. Mm-hmm. I actually, so fun fact, I started coming here years and years ago. And I've actually met like some close, super close friends, some yeah. of my best friends here. Like JD, I met JD at this place. So, um, and had it not been for a lot of these friendships, you know, it, you know, <laughs> who knows. But this is kind of like our version of like Ernie's Juice Bar. Oh, Ooh, right? that's true. That's and true. Power Rangers never done a comic book store being there like. Oh, that would which be Which I'm smart. a little surprised about, That would actually, actually be very smart, especially because they're supposed to be superheroes. So. I mean, they did a record store once. Oh, really? But they've never done, like, a comic store, which mm-hmm. is super surprising oh. because you would assume that that's, like, it's like the low-hanging fruit. Who knows? And it's Power Rangers. Why wouldn't you go for it? Yeah. But uh, this episode uh, in particular, Second Chances. Um, now, fun fa- this isn't so much a fun fact as much as it is a fact. The kid in this episode went on to become a murderer. What? And uh, yeah, he actually oh, was convicted of murder. Cool. Not a fun fact, but a no, fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. A fact, nonetheless. But it's, um, eh. what are some other glaring, <laughs> glaring? Wait, wait, how did you know? Like, what happened? Yeah. I like need Power to know Ranger. more about this. Like, how was he a murderer? I don't know. There's Power Ranger curse out there. You can read up all about it. I'm not gonna talk about it here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, because I don't know. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> but I will say that with this episode, the, some of the cooler aspects are uh, that they're t- first of all. When Zach and Jason are training this kid to play soccer, uh-huh. the look on their face of like, man, this kid does <laughs> oh suck. My God. Like, Dude, it's kind of sad, right? Sheer disappointment when the kid tries to kick the and ball he and he falls. Oh. And I looked at him like, oh, God. It definitely, like, yeah, there you go. Like, it, there, it definitely, that face. There definitely wasn't that was the, a that's look the kid. Of, that's the kid. Yeah. That's oh, the my kid. gosh. Yeah, yeah. It look definitely wasn't a look of, wow. uh, of look of like, you know what? Let's get this kid back up and you wow. can do it again. It was more of like, oh, we got a lot of work to do. Or, or more <laughs> of like, what did we get ourselves into? Yeah, really, but even really. But he comes up and is like, hey, guys, I'm just hey not guys, good. I'm just not good, guys. I, uh, I'm really bad at it. I know they had to be at a moment where they were just like, yeah, you're right. You're not. Sorry, kid. I mean, I, I see but why your parents don't even want to help you. Though, of like, hey, not everyone could be good at everything they want, but here are some other ways you can contribute to the team. My, my, thing, was, my thing was still... You could take so the, that picture kid, off now. Yeah, that's scary. People have no that, idea who that is. That, that's so the that, kid grown up. <laughs> there it is. There it is. He so was that a, kid, he was grows a kid up grown and up and ended a, up becoming yeah. a uh, stuff we don't really want to yeah, talk yeah, about. Yeah, we don't yeah. want to talk about. He ended up killing somebody, I believe, and he, yeah. might, he might be in prison for that. Yeah, yeah. That's a Dateline picture. Yeah, let's get rid of those. But no, so when the kid was there doing all this, I'm just thinking to myself, where were his parents? His parents didn't say, like, hey, we would love to help you get better. They were just like, nah, let some strangers you just met go ahead and take you to the park and teach you how to play. Like, I don't get that. I don't Maybe get they that. they just didn't come back from parents' day. <laughs> yeah. They're still liking that lost dimension. <laughs> They're still liking that. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Just right there. Continuity. <laughs> wow, Continuity is what we need on this show. Oh, my God. Uh, no, that's that's great, actually. No, He's but just at the an end, orphan he, kid. Like, he, like, makes... He's so the Ernie team can't. Wait, 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 wait. Let's kick someone off. Let's be he real. Started? He makes the secondary team. He doesn't make. No, the I thought he made. Team. I thought he was team captain though. At the end of the secondary, secondary team. So oh, okay. There's like forty kids on this one team, <laughs> the second string. Or yes, I mean, there's yes. just like a totally. It's just like a. Team. I think it's a separate team. But the but the real question is, how did Ernie clear that with the AYSO? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna yeah. think. Of, yeah. And where did all the extra kids come? We got a lot of kids here, see. Oh, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. I got a lot of kids here, and I own a juice bar. Give me bar. free <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know how it's all going to work out. But, they, uh, uh, here, here, here are all my uh, I do earnings. think it's hilarious. I do think it's hilarious, though. In the very beginning, I like we've talked about this just a second ago, but where he's like, you know, I wish I could have everybody on the team. And he's like, uh, Ernie, you, you you run the team, dude. <laughs> like. Yeah. He's oh. like, yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Like, All right. Coming out with like forty kids to play soccer. <laughs> this, is this is my team. All right, so uh, Michael J. Off. Spud gives you a super chat. He says, "I'm just saying, L is so nice. It hurts my heart. Aww, hurts his heart. Hurts that, that his heart. Very nice. Are you breaking no. hearts? No, my I, gosh, no. <sighs> what's going? On? I don't know what's going on here. She doesn't want to. Yeah, she's kicking yeah, his heart okay. around I, like I'll, I'll she's kicking keep... his heart around like the armadillo thing over. Hey, there. by the way, armadillos. This is <laughs> so essentially. This is just a grown armadillo. There's not yes. really much of a gimmick no, to it. No, not at no. all. Not at all. They're just like, yeah, you know, we're 
gonna make a giant no, armadillo no. on this episode. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna phone it in. <laughs> Uh, no, so I mean, with this, when they do, when they wrote episodes, did they like, all right, what footage do we have left over? All right, this is what we're doing. All right, let's write an episode around the footage, and then after that, let's go. And that's how it works. Well, they're right? getting towards the nitty gritty of, of like, hey, we're running out of stuff. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because that giant armadillo, that was so interesting. I mean, to me at moments. you have to assume that Saban. Um, doesn't necessarily at the time <laughs> doesn't necessarily know that his stuff is going to be as good as it as or it doesn't think it's going to be as popular as you're hey you're distracting my audience I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> my heart it hey, hurts get it together and stop distracting my audience oh, okay, uh, I'm in I'm in I'm so in. the thing is with now you made me lose my now you do it you talk about what I was going to say uh, what were you going to say talk about what I was going to okay, say okay what were you going to say the armadillo. So, the armadillo, the weird thing about it was that, uh, so, Finster had it all set up where uh, he was imbuing it with power. You, did you guys notice that it was green lightning? I did not. Yeah, it was actually green lightning left over, so that was interesting. Uh, but the thing Where's is, Tommy in this episode? <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. The thing is, it was green well, lightning and, and it was everything. Like, check the viewing globe, man. That's what you do for everything. <laughs> wait, 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 Right, uh, the pager. Here's the a pager. I, I, so I'm I'm wearing uh, this color out of respect for for Tommy, green today, um, and I'm gonna wear green for the rest of the season until he turns into the White Ranger. What? But here's uh -huh. my thing. So Mrs. Appleby takes his communicator, right? His pager. This yeah. pager. Mm -hmm. How in the blue hell? <laughs> Is he getting paged on this, and what numbers does he know to dial back? Well, no, see, this is the thing. It's probably one of those pages where you can't see anything, and you have to call a number, and you just hear a voicemail. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> That's all it is. That's, they had those at that time. By too. the way, did you? The, the other thing, too, I noticed is when Miss Appleby takes his communicator and puts it in the, uh, in the, in the little drawer, he stands there like he's going to get it back, and he's just like in front of the classroom. Yeah. And I would expect it, almost expected her to say, you can sit down now, Tom. Yeah, right? And he's just kind of like standing there like, like, oh, no, what do I do now? It was hilarious to me. Like, so she takes it from him, and he's just like, oh, okay, all right. Like, And I'm thinking, yeah, at the end of class, he should have gotten it back. Yeah. First of all, right. Mrs. Appleby is, is growing a dislike of Tommy real fast. Yes. She but we'll also find out that Tommy's actually Are you going to say it? I was going to say it. We finally found out that Tommy actually does go to the school because it was so yeah. great. Where they turn around and they're doing a soccer thing in the hallway and everything. Oh, yeah. man. But how flimsy are the communicators? And how has this not happened before? There have been moments they where they fight. are fighting. They're, they're fighting. fighting in regular, like, civilian they're gear. Fighting, like, cutties yeah, all the time. Out of nowhere. All and the it's time. Just, like, he bumps into the wall. It's like, <laughs> I was like, how cheap is his? They look like, made a flying car. You can make the communicators a little, a little bit more durable. durable. Yeah. A little bit more durable. He just bangs it against the wall. Yeah. That's yeah. all he did. Dude's like, <laughs> and I think it's one kind of like, uh, you. It's like when you butt dial somebody. <laughs> no, you oh, called no. me. You called me. Yeah, like, it was hilarious. <laughs> he's like, uh, hey Zoran, you called me, and he's like, no, you called me. <laughs> he was like, oh, I, I think oh, we're, no. we're talking about Zordon, not Paul Bear. <laughs> well, that's pretty much how Zordon still sounded when he was like, kind of confused. <laughs> oh no, no, Tommy, you called me. <laughs> it was like one of those. Like, he didn't know what to do. I mean, I, you uh. know, and then he gets detention. <laughs> He's already on Mrs. Appleby's shit list. Because in the next episode, it doesn't get any better for him because he starts a fight in the middle of the hallway. Oh, so she, for sure, she's like, I'm disappointed in you. Yeah, she does not like Tommy nope. at, at nope. any point in this anymore. Which is sad nope. because Tommy just wants acceptance and That's friends. All. That's and all. Part of them. That's all. No. Nope. And then want to yeah, call him. Find out the Power Rangers that Mrs. Appleby is actually Tommy's mom. Which is, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I want to see the reaction of what. Always like. <laughs> to see I don't believe anything. <laughs> Look at the face of it. <laughs> you, you are not the mother. You, you are, are not the mother. mother. She's like, oh, thank God. Troll again. <laughs> Troll, Troll again. again. All right, so uh, this episode oh. is, isn't is super, I mean, it's memorable per se, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for me personally, it, it's not one of the better episodes. No. It's, no. Mo most of these at this point are filler. Yeah. Um, the lesson, the, there is a good lesson in this, though, mm -hmm. to never give up because you'll be on the second place team. Um, <laughs> is that the lesson? Hey, who doesn't? Well, it, it, literally, what happened was the kid got a participation ribbon. That's what it was. Oh, he got to be head of like the, uh, head of a team that's never going to play. So, uh, <laughs> literally, he got a participation ribbon. Do it's you believe in one participation? Of those, I do not believe in those. I'm sorry. Either you win, you lose, and just play the game again. You'll play another one. That's how it works. You get better with loss. You get better with wins. Either way, you learn and you work harder. That's it. A participation you? ribbon. What's the point? Participation. 
I like participation win ribbons, but I think because I'm a loser. Oh, oh, I, I, I need those ribbons. Sad. I need those ribbons. And I just said something so harsh. <laughs> that's great. She just let spectrum, me go. Spectrum, oh, okay, Spectrum. There you yeah, go. There go. Different size. What about you? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, you, uh, okay, great. I'm like, alone on this. Sure. It doesn't I'm right, <laughs> right in the middle. Sure. I mean, I believe that you nope. should... I believe you you earn what you get, but I also believe that there's no there's no fault in trying. Yeah. So I mean, with I, that, and I feel that sometimes with with at least trying, at the end of the day you can at least say you know what I gave it my all and that's all I can at least I tried. But how about a high five? But there winners win. That's true. My hundred percent is like your seventy percent. You know. Well, let's, 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 come on, looking at me, it's the oh, other okay, way around. Like it's the other way around. Yeah, you're you're hundred percent. You're you're hundred percent. We were just is, talking about it. Come on, <laughs> like you're you're hundred percent of that. Is it? <laughs> I'm essentially just paying for shipping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's um, okay. So let's. What do you guys rank this one? Give it a cool three. I gotta go. Three point five. I, I was yeah, a two. Like a two. What? Do you went three point five? Because they even did the whole thing where they did the pyramid and they shot the guns and then it that shot out into the that, thing. That is the first time I, I was like, I, I, yeah, it's the first time I remember cool. seeing that. That makes like, no really logical cool. sense to me, though. Yeah. Hey, let's do this cheerleading move. Shoot our guns in some mild direction <laughs> of which they're all pointed, and we're gonna project the beam. All the power is coming in, and the thing is, it has to go somewhere, and it can't go to them because know, they're that cool. So it goes out. You know, I don't yeah, know if right? I just realized uh, it now. Joe, but. was there a Zord in this? Yeah, I think so. No, um, maybe not. Exactly. And that's why it deserves a 3. I think they ran out of footage. It deserves, it deserves a 3.5. <laughs> there was no Zords in Most it. Most people they are found another uh, way to polarized do it. here. We got <laughs> Lucius with a 4.5, Matt 2.5, uh, Daniel <laughs> Romano 5, okay. Kat 2, Layla 2.5, okay. Jared 2.5, okay. Ron L 5. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan gives it a 3 mm -hmm. out of 3. So first of all, okay, Ryan, your scale okay, I don't, confuses me. I don't. Uh, Thomas Franco gives it a 3.5. Okay. It sounds like it's a 3. <laughs> no, sounds it doesn't. Like it sounds like it's a 2.5. Blackwing gives it a 2. Yeah, it sounds I like mean, a we're pretty accurate with, it, yeah. with our 2s, yeah. 2 across. It had some good points and some other, like, wait, what? Uh, yeah. Why is she even here? <laughs> so, okay. Your right. inflatable, like, yeah. armadillo just throwing it across the And the putties the are just kind of like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was oh, like it's putties. like Coachella. The and they're just kicking it around. Uh, what are the putties made for? Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Comic relief. It's just literally that's it. They oh, must be oh, super oh. annoying, and they, are they? They're just they're not necessarily there to ever win. No. However, did the putties do event? Do do win? Like well, sometimes rarely. remember that one time where they took the communicator. And that was genius. It they was had a whole plan, the net and everything, and he was like, "What the? Oh, how'd that work?" And it was like, "Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you idiot!" <laughs> like it was really good. So. They have their moments. Okay, now <laughs> let's uh, let's move on to one of I think out, out of the three, probably the best episode of the three. Yes, yeah. uh, on fins and needles. Now, last week I spoke a little bit about I love watching Tommy and Jason <laughs> mm -hmm. in like episodes together, but when they're I think I like it <coughs> even more when they're like butting heads. Joe is here for the drama. No, it's Joe because is here for the drama. realistically, it, like this it probably would the challenge of uh, of of the two of them, like you can almost see. <laughs> that Tommy at this point now is like, you know what? I'm sick of taking your orders, loser. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Hey, we know who's the better fighter, and uh, I should be in charge. You're nothing. And it was like, for them to be able who to say And when you're felt, a kid, who are you cheering for? Oh, dude, automatically Tommy would have just wiped the floor with Jason. I don't know, man. Jason's <laughs> arms look a lot, like pretty jacked. Well, well, I mean, well, like well they got to be pretty jacked because, you know, he has to walk around with no sleeves at the house or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's true. right. You that, know. Was the, that was the rule. <laughs> when you go, to, you go to the Scott household, you, you, he, his dad rips off your sleeves. It's a ceremonial removal of the sleeves. You uh, walk in. Who, who, who do you got in a fight? The, in, the, in, the, in the bulk production <laughs> fight. Bolt King production fight. Oh yeah, Tommy and Jason. Definitely Tommy. Tommy. Tommy for uh, sure. So you gotta go. Tommy he has the extra too. armor on his outfit. He has his own. Like he has Dragon Zord. Yeah, you know. I mean, there's a reason they gave him all that. Day. Yeah, but just between those two fighting without the powers or anything like that, who do you think would have won? I think Tommy would, because Jason kind of has that little bit of arrogance where he's like, "Yeah, I'm the leader." Tommy's like understated. He's like, "Oh, you're all confident." Yeah, he's like, "You may be the leader, but I'm gonna whip you." You know, yeah. and then yeah, he goes yeah. for it. Yeah, I don't. I mean, that would have been a good one, and we've we've seen it, I'm sure, a couple times uh, in 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 the show. Obviously, Zordon chose Tommy as a leader for the for a reason, right? And Jason was still on the team. Yep. I mean, yep. realistically, it's because he was probably be, leaving. But like, yeah, yeah. Um, I I personally think that Tommy was uh, Tommy's a more iconic Ranger, actually, especially in this time frame. 
because Jace would have put them put them in predicaments where it's kind of like, what are you? It's like, oh, you have half your power. We got to go fight. And they're like, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Everyone says it's a bad idea. Yeah, right? Right? No, let's do it. He's like, no, let's it's going to be great. Guys, let's go into that burning building. No, I think we're going to not. No, everyone in. <laughs> You're like, oh, well, we're all dead. Yeah, and that's there's no one in there. They're not even trying to get <laughs> yeah, there's no one in there. <laughs> that would literally be him. Let's run into this building and let's try to say no one's in it. It's 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 you, you know it's pretty cool though that that uh, I don't know the I don't want to say the tension felt real because um, I don't know how they were on set at this time, but this is definitely laying the seeds for um, definite rivalry. I mean these you got to think at this time and era. What's what's with his face at this time? And era, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? The this time and era. Sorry, this should be a lot of these guys. It's hilarious. Of, of of the rivalry because they're both kids essentially I think they're probably in their like late teens to early twenties yeah so what's happening I don't actually for Tommy in Tommy's defense too like mm -hmm. in this episode um, he like the fin comes at him right and he catches it and he gets like electrocuted and Jason's yeah. like oh no be careful and the fin comes at Jason and he's like waiting to catch it he's like yes <laughs> I'm not gonna get electrocuted I'm like your learning curve man <laughs> did you not just see he literally that forgot it he literally Tommy forgot it when he caught the fin and you had to help him up Oh and my then God. the fin's coming at you and you're waiting for like a good like three or four seconds like yeah yeah, yeah. So wait, I'm gonna because catch it's it not, it's not gonna no, execute it, me because no automatically for him it became competition he caught it I can get it better and you're like yeah, oh you idiot like, who had the better plan no. who had the better plan to lay a ground attack or take or him in the, take air. in the air who had the better um, plan oh that's a hard one I don't by the way this is a great I would say I would say this I would say the air the air attack. Yeah, because you're like, I can see it all. I can survey it all. You know, I can see it when it comes from the ground towards so the you. So I think that was Jason's strategy. Yeah, it was yeah. Jason's. And, and you? I don't know. That, that's a hard thing. I guess, like, in the air, too, because it's exposed, and you can actually, like, deal some damage. But the thing is, how were they going to get in the air? That's true. That was my question. I was like, are they going to just borrow Kimberly's uh, pterodactyl wing and just, all right, we'll fly around, because like no one had it. eventually pop up. It's got to breathe, right? Yeah, sure right? I was like, so were you going to climb in the trees? Is that what you were it. saying? Like, <laughs> I, I was I a big fan of this episode, mainly because I think besides them, because they weren't necessarily evil, they were just under a spell, but yeah. it was both of them. Yep. And I do, I, uh, I like episodes like this where, where you get to see that kind of conflict and them just talk trash to each yeah, other. I just really was like, oh yes, we're going to see a fight. And no, we didn't. So they you would have, how many tickets would you have bought from Oh me? man, I would have been that, that black dude was like, oh, 20 tickets. And like, you know, every, yeah. yeah, yeah hey man, can I get 20 tickets? Yeah, I was like, he was okay. like oh. And he Where gave is Ernie? Me. I don't Ernie's like the only employee Ernie. in this juice bar. <laughs> what? Like I think Ernie's just. On. I think there's. Like, like, Ernie's just happy that there's clientele. Like we got paid. No, customers. no, no. They weren't paying him though. Ernie should have profited. Ernie, Ernie should have teamed profited. up with Bulk on this. And right? once again, here was Ernie God on really Ernie. bad business ethic. Ernie was just, well, oh, you guys want to use this for a fight, and people are paying you a whole lot for it. Sure, go ahead. I don't need anything from it. Like really, Ernie? Ernie. Ernie. I love How the guy. How did you survive this long? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I love the guy, but it's just failure on failure. That's it. Yeah, he, he lasts a long time, too, as yeah. a somewhat owner of this company. Right? Or uh, whatever, right. Juice yeah. Bar or whatever. He, he obviously uh. didn't franchise it out. But um, <clears throat> when when we get to them figuring out, what, and also, too, when, when even Zordon, when he calls them in, they both go to the front, and they're both like, and they're like, yeah. ooh, watch. Oh, yeah. And then they even Alpha's like, be careful, Tommy. <laughs> and then they do the whole, like, it's one time. I love it, because what he did, Tommy was like, strong. No need to rush. <laughs> Shut up, strong. I mean, oh, watch out. There's no need to rush. Oh. And he was just like, shut up. <laughs> like, and, hey, you can almost, almost say. tell that Zach's just kind of like, yo, what? <laughs> He's yeah. like, don't, what are we, what is going on? Seriously, Zach at that he, moment. I feel like Zach's the only one that really cared, though. Yeah. Like, like, he's like, well, that's my boyfriend, but man, he could probably take this uh, guy. Yeah. She was like, I'm not worried. <laughs> that's all she yeah. was thinking. And Billy was like, I hope they kill each other. <laughs> Billy, I think that's And I'll be the leader. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's it. He's, like, he, he's pretty much like a little finster. He was just sitting there like, <laughs> they'll kill each other if I let it happen. You know, that's it. So he was fine with it. And then, yeah, it was Zach that was just like, oh, man, my friends are frightened. But this is something important important though because you can clearly see without Tommy or Jason Zach does become the leader oh yeah it's almost like a default that they have like Zach is the go-to guy mm -hmm. um, 
But that's it was a super, super interesting episode. I thought it was a lot of fun, and it developed characters. Uh, I think it was a little easy for them to get out of the predicament so quick. Yeah, I think, oh, yeah. I think that, that's true. especially when Zordon was like, hey, we're going to need all of you to defeat this monster. And it's just like Zack and Jason being like, it's morphin' time, and the rest of them are like, Dude, oh my! Oh, like, wait, wait. Can we talk? So about, I don't have to. Hold on. I don't have to fight today. Can we talk about uh, actually the episode prior? I forgot to mention this. The Tom, the moment where Tommy, uh, like when he answered uh, the communicator, he like he's in the juice bar, moves over to the side, answers it, and this is okay, and he morphs <laughs> right in, in the juice bar, in front right of in the juice bar. Okay, yeah, I, I, I do remember like, that. I do remember that. Be like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> what are the main? There's not that many rules you need to follow, <laughs> but one of them is to not reveal your right? identity. I mean, step away or something. Even if he went to the bathroom, I would have been like, fine. Right? But or no. In the empty hallway? Yeah. Because like, <laughs> yes. it, it, was, it was a slight empty corridor, but, but people it, walk. People yeah. have to walk past him to get to the exit. So it's not really that smart at all. <laughs> and I was just like, I don't know. But moving back to this episode. Damn it. Tommy Jason, none of you are leaders. Oh We're giving it to Zach. Back to the Zach point. was more of the leader <laughs> yeah. of this episode. Yeah. He was he was definitely. <laughs> that uh, was and the I kind of wish, I almost wish that uh, that that um, yeah, right. Walter Jones would have stayed on the show a little bit longer, mm. mainly because I don't know if had had Austin and Twee just left and not Walter, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily know that uh, that Tommy would have been leader. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh -huh. he was the most popular character as White Ranger at that mm -hmm. point, mm -hmm. but maybe they would have moved Zack to Red, and maybe he would have been the leader. Ooh. Could have panned out a lot of different ways. That would have been really different, man. I don't know what would have happened. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? That's just That would have been know, very theory. interesting. But uh, with the episode when they did say, okay, yeah, you guys all have to work together. Yeah. You must all work you together. You too. It's only them too. No, but I thought he said, like, uh, oh, yeah, he said... No, he did say uh, the only thing we can do is kind of stand back and allow it. Oh, okay. That is really <laughs> bad mediation as, right. like, Zoran, you're the adult of the situation. It's like, it'll stand work back and let them fight it out. That's literally what you told them. Wait a minute, <laughs> like, wait, wait a minute. What? So, wait. But it, it did work out. It, it did work out. Knows what's up, and obviously. in fairness, it's kind of like, how many of your friends have been in a fight and you had to tell them, hey, you guys are just gonna have to fight it out and then come back and shake hands. Well, yeah, that's when equals when when you know it's equals trying to solve a problem. All the people are the same around age or blah blah yada yada. But when you have an authoritative figure that's over you guys, the usually authoritative figure is not the one that's supposed to say, "Oh yeah, just fight it out." Yeah, like, no, no, let's they usually have a conversation. Yeah, about they're like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, let's talk about this, guys." How let's old? How this. old is Vince McMahon? I don't. Come on. It's wrestling, though. <laughs> it's wrestling. Here Find in it out of the ring. Ring. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, man. But still, nonetheless, they did get that handshake. They got the moment where everything was cool, and they pretty much pushed all the uh, negative energy out. Yeah. And then, you know, they got the high five or fist bump, and then they were ready to go. Yeah. So that was that was okay. Do you, do you like them better uh, as teammates, or do you like them better as competitors? Teammates. But That's do what you, the show is about. Do you think that they're naturally just because they're the probably the most equally matched when it comes to fighting? Yeah. Like there's definitely a built-in rivalry. There. Yeah. Yeah. And I think when you get two guys like that on the same team, like you can only have one quarterback and one right. You know, you can't have two starting quarterbacks. No. So like, when you get two guys that are very similar, it becomes a it becomes a. A, a battle of alpha males, I feel like. That's true, because it was like, yeah, you got you got a quarterback out of both of them, and then you had your wide receiver, which is, uh, well, pretty much uh, Zach. You know, so you're like, well, what's everyone else? You know, blah, blah. You're literally looking like, when do you better decide who's in charge and get this done? Because it's slowing down everybody. But even with this, they didn't truly establish who is the leader. Yeah. They just, oh, well, okay, well, we got that taken care of, but now it's bringing the question of, well, so who is the leader? And that question isn't being answered yet. So I I'm just like, I wonder. It's obviously Tommy. Like, he has his own Zord, and the five have to, like, meld together to make their Zords. That's I feel true. like Tommy's the one, and he doesn't even need to, like, control his Zord. It's, like, sentient or yeah, something. He, yeah, he never, like, goes in he his never Zord. He never goes in No, it, no. So he's just, he's like, either the laziest Power Ranger <laughs> there ever was, or, or his Zord is just the coolest Zord. Or he's power. possibly the smartest Power yeah. Ranger. Like, yeah, I don't also need to take the pain that the Zord takes. Yeah. I'll just control it with a flute. You know, and let it go. That's all. Yeah. I mean, what's wrong with that? I said, go for it. That's, That's what I would do. Tommy. Yeah. Tommy's clear winner. Clear winner. Yeah. Clear winner. Team Tommy over here. And I mean, it, it did destroy. They did destroy the uh, monster with Tommy's, uh, uh, you know, back tail help. Help, yeah. right? So I mean, you know, that counted. Guys, what do you give this one? I give this one a 
this one five. 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 I like this one too. It's so much fun. It stands out. Like definitely, definitely. I enjoyed it. I loved it. I, I laughed. I, I laughed more, and I even said, "Ooh." So. All right. So uh, in the chat, what do you guys give it? Uh, we want to know what you have. Uh, in the meantime and in between time, we're going to take your questions from last week. Woo, um, you guys are going to start some, making these a lot shorter. Cause before we get into that, <laughs> oh boy. Before, yeah, you guys are going to start making them two, shorter. Three. I'll um, do the first one. All right. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure I want to do the first <laughs> one. Yeah, I'll do the first one. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll do the first one. All right. So, uh oh. First of all, before we get into that, let's talk about Power Morphicon, uh, Power Morphicon 2018, which is going to be happening this August at the Anaheim Convention Center. Yes, it's moving venues. It's going to be in Anaheim this year mm -hmm. at the Anaheim Convention Center. I believe the dates are the 17th, 18th, and 19th. Yes. Is that correct? Somebody confirm? Um, 17th, 18th, and the 19th. We, are, we have our official Angel Grove Prom After Party. That is going to be on August 18th on that Saturday there. Uh, that is going to be something that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. It's going to be for all of you guys. Also, if you buy your tickets now, uh, Scott is offering the uh, Lord Draken action figure, uh, legacy figure exclusive from Bandai America. You can only get that Power Morphicon prom by buying uh, one of the badges. Now, depending on what badge you buy, uh, dictates on how many of these figures you can actually purchase. So I believe that the Red Ranger badge is the minimum, and that gives you one figure purchase. And the further you go up, the more figures you can buy. That is on officialmorphicon.com. You can get your tickets there uh, and join us on, on August 17th, 18th, and 19th. We will be in Anaheim. You can see all of us around there. I'm sure you're 1,000% you're going to run into us. Oh, yeah. Also, we're also encouraging you guys to ask a prom date to Power Morphicon Prom. Uh, you can send that video, a prom video, send it to us at THS, or I'm sorry, fanquestions at thathashtagshow.com, or you can leave it in our Facebook page, just send us a message with that video in there, and we will play it right here on the show with you asking a prom date. Now, I know you're going with somebody that's currently in the chat. Yes, MJ Spuds. Michael J. Spuds. I don't know why you keep saying his name is Michael sorry, J. Spuds. Sorry, it's in my head now. <laughs> It's in my head, and you were going with... Uh, I don't know yet, because the video hasn't come through, and I actually made a video, but I needed to... Uh, work on it. You know, work on it a little bit more. No, so, hey, you know what, people? I'm still available at this moment. Um, also, you guys can ask people from PCR. Just letting you guys know that. They are available. They are, are available. Anybody in particular? I'm just saying, there are people... Uh, uh, John! <coughs> Uh, but, you know, people, people in PCR, people in PCR are available, uh, you know, Justin, Justin. Uh, you know, just just random people if you have any names like Justin, you know, <laughs> they happen to be available. I, you know what, we'll have a hashtag <laughs> list of all the cast members and exes, it'll be like days oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. of the people yeah. that are taking, the people that are, Josh yeah. Goldman is still look, hey, actively hey, looking for a actively date. looking. So if in fact, gonna, I think he is on Tinder searching. So I mean, I'm looking at him right now and he's swiping Yeah, you guys can get him done. Oh, and Bumble, because he's smart. Right now. he's smart. He has money. And I know he's been if you guys don't like, if you guys watch a Star Trek show, he's been trying to put out feelers out there for a lot of you fans to chime in on. He'll be doing the uh, the the season finale tonight, so if any of you guys want to ask him, send uh, send it to fan questions at that hashtag show .com, mm -hmm. or put it in our Facebook page. Like we said, Justin, Josh, John, a lot of these guys start with J's. Um, we have a lot of people yeah. here that don't have dates. I don't. It's Sarah Carey, I believe, is still available. Yep. yep. Uh, we also have. Who else? Oh. We have Tony Sanchez, who's now doing the comic, the oh, yeah. DC and Marvel stuff. She's out. She's out there. Rob, our DJ, huh? You guys, huh? Are, I'm just saying eligibility. Um, who else is who else is available? Well, you know, still? funny enough, Migdalia. From what I heard, a guy named Jezer. No, Jezer. Jezer said he, he he's asking somebody. Oh, I haven't seen a video, so the guy named Jezer still sounds available to me. So if you guys yeah, want put to it out, out there. If you guys want to go with Jezzer, you know, send a video in for him. Uh, who else is out there? Maverick hasn't been asked yet. Um, so there's a ton. Yeah. A ton. Kevin? Kevin's still available. Some, Sam? Sam is still available. We're just pimping everybody out, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. At this point. Uh, like but yeah, anyway, a lot of our a lot of our uh, a lot of our fellow cast members are uh, wanting to be asked. They're just not uh, they're, they're uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Jalen saying he's available. Well, Jalen, send in a video. Wait. Oh, yeah, you are available. Yeah. Like, he sent in a video. Yeah. Yeah, you're available. Um, so, well, I mean, like, in a good way. But uh, he literally has no date. I thought you meant that figuratively, but I guess that means literally. Uh -huh. All right, so let's uh, let's move into this. Hey, so you're Blackwing, the one? just because Maverick has a boyfriend doesn't mean you can't ask. Jessica, Jessica just got engaged, and you asked her, didn't you? You homewrecker. 
<laughs> so uh, <laughs> right? let's uh, let's get into these questions and comments. Oh, I'll start. <laughs> Jalen Glover. Hey guys, it's Jalen again. Thank you so much for another amazing wrap up. These episodes were really good, and I'm glad you guys reviewed them. And to be honest, when it comes to those titles, I would have chosen Power Rangers Nova Squad instead of the name that was chosen for the space theme season. Overall, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys at Power Morph Con if me and my mom get to go. Take it easy. Hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Are we going in order? Uh, well. So. Yeah, you can. Uh... Robin Chen. All right. Joe, when you disagree, then agree with me on my last comment on the return of the Green Ranger. You scared me. Well, you almost did. I made a very good point about Kimberly's story arc in the episode and Tommy's... Nah, nope. <laughs> won't even let me finish the sentence. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> didn't really <laughs> this the right. I know. This episode has a Kimberly-layered focus, but it features Tommy in which he meets the parents besides coming back as a Green Ranger. Stop. Okay. So Bulk and Skull like aren't that. bullies, and all they wanted to do is fit in. Bulk and Skull tries to study or fail... Wait, tries to study or fail the class in which the ranger's assistants all at once gets dizzy. Wait, gets them dizzy in Grumblebee? Sorry, I can't read. Like, yeah, sorry. I feel like my, my diseased brain is like... <laughs> and two heads are better than one. They wanted to join the class so they can learn these martial arts. And wait, and the two make a lie on wanting to beat up people when they're actually fascinated by what they saw. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And foul play bulk tries to man up and help out with taking care of things when Zach goes off making up fake magic words. Okay. Um, and insults to make him disappear and appear. Who's the bigger bully now? The Rangers. Well, yeah, the Ra we yeah, they discussed are. it. The Rangers are kind mm -hmm. of bullies. Okay. Hold on. Before you start, Daniel. All right. I do want to say something out there to all of you people that are ask actually asking a lot of us to the prompt. First and foremost, we are going as your friends, mm -hmm. not as romantic interests. Yeah. Uh, we all have other things going on outside this that a right. lot of you guys don't know about, but we, we are going as friends all to this thing. We're not going for uh, any other reason. Because, yeah, I mean, uh, some of us are international and they can't even date people in the U.S., I don't know you what know, that means. Like, oh, I'm, I'm going. I, I'm, I, heard, I heard Canadians can't date people. Well, I'm one, I'm one. I'm one hundred percent going for the romantic side of this. <laughs> but I'm just stating for everybody else. That, uh, that oh yeah, well of course because of you. <laughs> but we're just stating with? for everybody else. Yeah, that, okay. That it's right. it's uh, it's we're just all going as friends. Yeah, hey, you can go. You can to prom. Yeah. I, I remember. I went to prom one year with. Uh, we went as a group. We it went, was like a bunch of us. It was a bunch of us that went. So we didn't have definitive dates. I mean, we did. Three proms, but. Or orgy prom. <laughs> orgy <laughs> prom is going to be trending now. Be uh, Go ahead. So Ryan Earl Wizard Thomas. Oh, Wizard Writer Thomas. Woo! All right, let's go. Hey, Joseph Daniel and beautiful Al. I'm 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 sitting here, you know. Um, this MMP. Thank you. In this MMP. You shut your mouth. <laughs> this MMPR is one of my favorite seasons ever. I didn't get back into Power Rangers until Power Rangers Samurai came out. I gave episode 51, Grumblebee, a 4 out of 4. Episode 52, Two Heads Are Better Than One, a 4 out of 5. In episode 53, Foul Play, a 5 out of 5. Love those episodes and love you guys. I'm glad I found a group to show how much I like Power Rangers, anime, Super Sentai, and other shows. You guys are awesome people. Thank you. Oh, we think you're awesome. We know. Um, <laughs> so uh, here's here's a fun challenge I want to do for the next um, round of comments. Okay. So I know that you, uh, and by the way, we appreciate all your comments. In the next round, or the next comments we get on this show specifically, mm -hmm. look, I'm getting a phone call from Myra, and I'm going to have to decline it. Uh -huh. um, the next, the mm -hmm. next uh, comments we get is, between a hashtag show and PCR, I want to see, since this is a prom theme thing that we're talking about right now, we have been for a little bit, mm -hmm. is who do you guys ship from our cast on, on with each other? Oh! Like hashtag, um, I don't know, hashtag like Daniel and Sarah, or hashtag Definitely. Rob yeah, and just, Sarah, or hashtag... No, no let's not say Rob and Sarah. Hashtag John Daniel and um, L, or hashtag Jezzer and, uh, and Josh. And Josh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, or, and Joe. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I want to see who you guys ship uh, in this stuff, and 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 that'll, that'll be, be dope. Actually, that'll, that'll be fun. really great. So let's do that. Let's uh, let's do the next one. Blackwing. I'm not gonna read that what up thing, but uh, <laughs> hey, retro wrap up as uh, hey, awesome retro wrap up as always. I actually own 
that two heads are better than one episode wow. of VHS. That Sorry. is dope. That is dope. Yeah. All right. Two heads are better than one. Uh, the <laughs> tape was called Power Rangers Red Alert. It contained <laughs> that episode. Escape from Secret City and Beware of the Night. Beware of the Night. <laughs> also, Angela is probably the worst Power Ranger love interest I've ever seen. She mm. keeps a homeboy like Zach dirty. Yep. That's true. Zach yep. has better chance with someone else. Trust me. <laughs> Keep up the awesome work and stay golden, my friends. It's true. Poor Angela. I wish oh. they wrote her a little bit better. Yeah. Oh, look, we already, we're having hashtags in here already. Oh, really? Yeah, this is funny. I meant leave it in the comments, but I like some of these. I'm going to go. Blackwing says definitely Daniel and Sarah. Yeah. That's right. Let's see. Let's see. Sarah, so you hear it? Huh? 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 See? See? We have, <laughs> uh, That's fabulous, Blackwing also says Joe and Maverick. I ship. Uh, MJ Spud says Joe and Daniel. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Uh, Super Samurai One says Daniel and Daryl. Possible. Oh, ones. Edward Sanchez, <laughs> Joe and Daniel. Michael J. Spud, Joe and Daniel. Wow, look at this. You guys are progressive. I like it. That, that's actually really accurate. Dan, you got another one. You got uh, Daryl and L. Thomas Franco says. No, no. Mm -hmm. He likes girls. <laughs> All right. Uh, go, you're up. Oh, man. Wow, I don't put my face in this. Uh, like we should pre-read this. La, la, la. So like, read it a little bit better. <laughs> mm. And also, you can't want me to stall? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. And also, Marvel, like always, I must say, oh, this is from MJ Spuds 97, not Michael J. Spuds. Oh. That's what yeah. I said. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, everyone everyone looked very professional in this episode. I must also say, I agree ev with everything Joe said in his rant. Whoa, so your rant is getting soft. Mm -hmm. You should have seen last that, night. That was a long rant, too. <laughs> you should have seen last night. Can we cuss on this show? Yeah. Okay, so to put it bluntly, bluntly Savon is fucking everyone. Uh, wait, he's fucking every one of the fans. He is literally biting the hand that feeds. Without the fans of Power Rangers and all the other franchises he owns, he wouldn't be here today. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Power Rangers, yeah. Um, it would be nice for him to get off his gold-plated toilet and actually not fuck up Power Rangers anymore. Yeah, <laughs> damn! Oh, okay. wow, this is. I feel like this is gonna like incite another rant. At the yeah, end of this. right. It would Saban. be nice. Where am I? Um, the, mm -hmm. as fans, we deserve a lot more. Um, I have passed the. Beano fan? What's a Beano fan? I don't know. I don't know what that reference is. Since 2002 and what IV was my first... What, 4 was... Oh, 4 was my first season and I got hooked. Ever since Savan got his rights back, he's fucked up every chance he had... Oh, wait. Every chance he had, the only reason why Dino Charge was any good... What's cause of Chip Lynn? I don't... I like don't have references for so Chip much... Chip Lynn is one of the uh, four, uh, oh, yeah. current executive producers of the show. Oh, okay. I really wish someone would actually go out of his way and hire actual good writers and directors for Power Rangers to make it an actual an actual entertaining show. I personally have nearly given up on Power Rangers so many times. I personally mm. think that Saban should keep the rights of Power Rangers but lend them out lend them out forever for I guess for people to write and direct. Um, find good people for these roles. I think that's really true. The writing mm -hmm. is like super important with all of these things, and like even if it's a, like a super cheesy show, that uh -huh. the writing will make it. It will, like, make it, engaging. It will make it good. Yeah. Like for all kinds of generations. Literally. Um. Uh, sorry, I keep losing my. Find good people so that. Oh, okay. So that that ends around. Part two. The community. I personally think Power Rangers has won the best communities of all, minus a few bastards here and there. <laughs> I, well, yeah, there's always going to be a few, right? True. Um, there isn't much bit, uh, bitchiness in the community, unlike others, for example. The cosplay community, they are full of some of the most annoying assholes I have ever met because they were so bitchy towards people. Damn. Wow. Bum, bum, bum. You know about that. <laughs> Toasty! Uh, You've met some dickhead cosplayers. Oh, I can I say dickhead? I, I think, I think, we, I think we've like, gone I, far I, enough I to... Really remember cosplay. that one you were talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've met, like, totally dickhead. Thinking, yeah. There was a magician? No. I don't know. <laughs> 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 hey, what about photographers, though? They're kind of creepy. Some of them are... Oh. Oh. I haven't met any photographers that are creepy, but I have seen some. Especially oh. for girls that are oh. underage. You know what? I, like, I will say... Girl, there, no, there, yeah, 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 there is one. There is one. There is definitely one. No, there's more than one. It does bother me that some of these photographers, cosplay photographers, take advantage of the of the position that they're in, mm -hmm. um, to kind of prey on these girls that 
whether it be for attention, whatever. You can do whatever you want if you're a cop. Sure. You can do whatever you want. But it just does bother me that some of these dudes will prey on some of these younger girls, or just girls in general, um, and kind of just use it for whatever means it is. And it's just, or even the upskirts. Sometimes I'll see people oh, like, I don't like, dude, I don't like my that god, it's not cool, man, not cool. Or even the, there was like this one that anime expo where he had like the camera like on his chest and he would go for hugs with like, oh, oh I, I think he got, I think he got banned. I think he's banned. Good. From, like, the, oh, you should be banned. He better be banned. Like God, yeah. man, come on, and it's dude. It's like you were just like, oh, hugs, and it's like. You know, yeah, you think he's innocent, really yeah. Community and yeah. everyone is really nice to like hugs, and then people abuse it like that, so. You Dirty know. freaks. Um, do, do, do. Oh, yeah, cosplay mm. community, I don't get the cosplay exactly right. Anyways, back to Power Rangers. Can Savannah stop being a gigantic dick tease and telling people this season's going to be amazing? Um, just anniversary episodes. I'm going to have a coughing attack. Uh -oh. Want me to carry on? Where are you at? It's going to be amazing. It ends up being utter rubbish anyway. I better stop talking now. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for listening and thank you for reading your sincerely. Swallow your, your skittles, friendly man. Whatever the fuck you're reading <laughs> okay, over go there. Ahead. Uh, and one last thing, Al. If I manage to go to Power Morphicon, I pray Wait, to God I do. I'm, I'm going to skip that potato. part. And one last thing, Al. If I manage to go to Power Morphicon, and I pray to God I do, <coughs> we have to wear matching colors. Okay. Smiley face with that sweaty thing. Hashtag right. elf. Yeah. I could probably match. No. I have like we got more. Uh, we got more ships. Thomas. Uh, Thomas. Tom Craven says hashtag Joe and Jezzer. Okay. Super Super Samurai One says uh, hashtag Joe and Miggy. Right. Uh, Anna Miles says hashtag Jezzer and Miggy. Yes, I like that. Layla says hashtag Joe and Daniel. Uh, what else we got? Lucius says hashtag uh, Joe and Daniel. Um, it just sounds like that's the number one. Oh, we got Jared says hashtag Jezzer and L. All right. We got maybe, another Robin Chance says hashtag Daniel and Daryl. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anna says hashtag Ernie and Daryl. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So that that's a hashtag. Oh, there was one in here that said yeah, which I, I don't believe would ever happen. But Ernie uh, gives more of the where, force. Where is right? it? It was uh, hashtag Sam and Kelly, I think. <laughs> if, if Blackwing says, "Oh, I got one," hashtag Sam and Kelly. If you knew those two. <laughs> Uh, oh probably my God, not. Someone would die. Uh, Robin says also. <laughs> uh, hashtag Kelly and L. Uh, uh, all right, so a lot of you guys are playing it safe with the hashtag Joe, Daryl, and Daniel. Of course, right. we did a show together for a long time. Understandable, understandable. We wanted to see new combinations. Yeah. You didn't surprise yeah. me. No. You didn't surprise me. Uh, all right, guys. <laughs> we had a lot of fun with these last three episodes, and uh, we do want to get more of the ships in. So. Give us your, because um, in anime, it's a big thing, right? In anime, they do the shipping, like yeah. the, the... The shipping one, well, Sentai, we do combis. And it could so be, it could any, be fandom, any fandom. Any fandom. Yeah. It could be the same sex thing. So we want to see, like, hashtag Josh and Roe, or hashtag, uh, you know, uh, hashtag Ellen Sarah, hashtag Jessica and Jezzer, hashtag Daniel and Maverick, hashtag... Yeah, it, like, just, just mix it up. Justin Let's and John, mix ones. it up. Let's have some fun ones. And, uh, and, and who, whoever we vote, whoever gets the most votes, uh -huh. the cumulative... Well, we have to make a meme of them. Yeah, of course. That would be and that meme is going up on all of our social media. Oh, yeah. So we're going to make a little fun game out of this. I love it. I love it. Look what we do. Look what we do. Hashtag, oh, here's uh, one from uh, a guy named uh, Lint324. Hashtag Daniel and Mrs. Appleby. That could honestly That's, that's like definitely that. something I like. that I, I'm down for, you know? I like an older, sophisticated woman. You know, another one, Super Samurai says, hashtag uh, Sarah and Daniel. We got hashtag... Hashtag from Danny says hashtag Kelly and Daryl, Thomas Franco hashtag Daryl and Joe. That's a that's a first. Mm. Um, Let's make that one a so thing, and then up. they have to take a prom photo. Like that. that would be cute. Like that whole prom Who's photo thing. Who's a big spoon? Well, uh, Daryl shorter, so Daryl shorter. Know, yeah. Be like, oh. So uh, I you know what? Is that how that works? No. Uh, listen, uh, well, oh, that would be awkward. The other way. <laughs> mix it up. Uh, right. Well, well, I don't know what we maybe in the. I don't know how you're gonna find out all the names that are on this list, but. It'll be so much fun. We want to see. Oh, yeah. Hashtag Joe and Christiani. I'm for that one. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we want to see because this, this is going to be fun. But, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Where can we find you guys on social media? I'm LT on Instagram. And I'm uh, Battlestar Black on Instagram. And I'm that hashtag Joe on all social media. And you can find me over at ScreenRant.com. And also right here. Most of every week on the uh, a lot of the shows we do, Ranger like the Ranger Wrap Up, the Retro Ranger Wrap Up, not on Hyperforce this week. Daniel's flying solo, and Doctor Who's going to be starting up soon. We're going to be at Gallifrey next week. Yeah, maybe. All right, it'll be fun. 
And if so, if you're a Doctor Who fan, come say hi to us. We're going to be at Gallifrey One and possibly Long Beach Comic Con. We're not con we're not sure about not that. Sure, yep. But we're figuring all this out. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining in and watching. Give us giving us your great hashtags. Uh, MJ Spud also says L and Daniel. Uh, so we have we these are a lot of fun. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button to stay up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture. <laughs>